What's going on you guys? It's your boy Polar and today we are going to be doing a tier list of all the Final Fantasy games that have been released so far. So with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth being just this close on the horizon, I decided today would be a good day to sit down and let's rate these Final Fantasy games. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe with them post notifications. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get back into it. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with, of course, the originator, the original first Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy 1. So, I cannot say that I played this the, a lot, but from the gameplay I've seen, it technically redefined the genre. This was the start of a whole series of a bunch of games. Let's be honest, this one game created the legacy for the rest of the games that have come so just because of that this game has to at least go into the great category next up we have final fantasy 2 now final fantasy 2 doesn't really get talked about a lot final fantasy 2 was a pretty good game it was a solid game it was the sequel to probably the innovator of this entire thing so honestly it can't be too bad i haven't played it so i can't really give you guys a full description but I would have to say it probably will not stand the test of time when it comes to Final Fantasy 1, so I'm going to go in the mid category. Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3, from what I played, really was not too good. It wasn't one of my favorites. It wasn't one that I enjoyed too much, so I'm going to go in the awful category. Next up, we have Final Fantasy 4. Now, this game... I don't know about you guys, but I thoroughly enjoyed Final Fantasy IV. I felt like the villain was great. I enjoyed the characters. I felt like this game was a really good one. I felt like it was probably the best one that's come out since the first one. So I'm going to say Final Fantasy IV goes in the great category. Next up, Final Fantasy V. Now, can we just appreciate the artwork, number one? Number two, this game was pretty good, honestly. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't the best. In my opinion, the character work could have been done a little bit better, and the boss was kind of mid I, I wasn't a really big fan of it but the gameplay was great you know definitely improved off of final fantasy 4 but because i really couldn't get around with the characters and i really couldn't get with the whole story of the game i'm gonna have to go in the mid category for this one next up we have final fantasy 6 now final fantasy 6 was a pretty good game to be honest final fantasy 6 did have its its problems but i would honestly say it was probably up there with some of the best at the time. I think Final Fantasy VI still holds the test of time, and in my opinion, it is a great Final Fantasy game. Oh boy, let's let's talk about this next one, Final Fantasy VII. Probably the most mainstream Final Fantasy game, the one that really defines the genre. When you think of Final Fantasy, usually the first game you're thinking about is Final Fantasy VII. I mean, the characters, the story, the villain. I mean, Sephiroth is the most known villain in any Final Fantasy game. He's in Smash Bros. He canonically has fought Steve from Minecraft, which means, in my opinion, this game has to go in oh god no. Just kidding. It's goat tier. Final Fantasy VII is the best Final Fantasy game to ever come out. Y'all can fight me on it if y'all want. This game is great. Cloud's character in this game is amazing. Tifa's amazing. Barrett's amazing. Every character in this game is just a 10 out of 10 character. Next up, we probably have the most decisive. Like this, this game, Final Fantasy VIII, is one you either love it or you hate it. This game has a really strong fan base and a really strong hate base. People really love and people really hate this game. I honestly really enjoyed this game. Squall as a character is such a great character to like invest in. I think he as a protagonist following Cloud is not as good. Uh, compared to Cloud, he's not as good. That's also just because well, Cloud's the GOAT, obviously. But I honestly believe that Final Fantasy VIII deserves its spot up near the top. I'm going to say Final Fantasy VIII is a great game. Alrighty, this next one, okay, some of y'all are going to fight me in the comments on this. Final Fantasy IX is the best Final Fantasy game. I'm, I'm just saying it. It's not my personal favorite. It is the best. It is the best of the RPG genre, plain and simple. Final Fantasy IX is a, such a love letter to the original games. It was the game that really encapsulated everything that Square Enix and Squaresoft had been working on up to that point. The characters in this game are so amazing. The artwork in this game is beautiful. The story, the love story in this game is just... This game, in my opinion, has one of the absolute best stories, and it really deserves a remake. If you guys have seen the Moria Project, that 
is such a good love letter to this game. Final Fantasy IX, in my opinion, has to go in the GOAT category. Next up, we got Final Fantasy X. Now, I know I'm going to get flamed. I know I'm going to get flamed for this. I never played Final Fantasy X. I had the opportunity to multiple times, but I have never touched Final Fantasy X. I know the story. I've heard of the characters, but I just... I could never get into it. I never thought I would enjoy the game, so I never played it. If you guys want to see me play Final Fantasy X, please make sure you guys are letting me know in the comments. Maybe I'll go on the PlayStation. Maybe I'll play on a stream for you guys over there on kick.com slash Polo was here or at twitch.tv slash Polo was here. So I'm going to go with Final Fantasy X. Since I haven't personally played it, I'm going to go into the great category, mostly because of everything that I've heard about it. And I guess kind of the same can go for Final Fantasy X2 because I haven't played either one. Uh, I would say it's still going to go in the great category for me personally, just because X2, from what I've heard, is a really great game and it continues the story of X pretty well. So I'm going to go great tier for that as well. Okay, next, I think we have our first lowest tier Final Fantasy game. We have Final Fantasy XI Online. I got the chance to play this game just a tiny bit i didn't play a whole lot of it mostly because i did not enjoy the gameplay at all but this game also had a i think it was a beast or something that you literally could not beat every time you would try to face it there was always some kind of method that you would do that would actually get patched by the devs so in my opinion this game it's oh god no that's a stinker man and i hate to say it but it's it's so bad next we have final fantasy 12 the zodiac age now i did enjoy this game i don't think it's in the great category i don't think it even touches goat status i think this game is mid just because i personally did not like the story uh i like the characters but i couldn't get behind the story the story just really seemed kind of slow to me i did not like it i'm gonna go mid uh, i'm not gonna say awful because i don't think i don't think there's really any awful final fantasy games besides mm. but i think zodiac age was a pretty good game Final Fantasy 13. This game I never beat because I was a young kid who could not get past bosses. I raged at this game so hard. I hated facing any boss in this game because I couldn't beat them. It was to the point where I tried to ask my mom, tried to ask my dad, tried to ask my sister. I even tried to ask my uncle, my stepmom. My, I don't have a stepmom. But you know what I mean. I, I'm asking everybody. How do I beat it? I can't beat it. How do I beat it? I could never beat this game. I sucked at the game. I'm going to be 100% honest. So I'm going to say awful. Just because I couldn't beat it. I had personal awful experience. The story of the game and the characters were great. I personally had an awful experience playing the game because I was a kid who couldn't beat the game. Next, we have Final Fantasy XIV Online. This game didn't release to the biggest amount of praise. But as you guys have seen by the Game Awards and multiple other awards that have come out, this game has just found a way to stick around. This game is consistently updated by Square, and they have just they have made something really great here with an online experience. And I personally believe Final Fantasy XIV is the best of the online Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy XIV goes into the great category for me. Oh, now we got a controversial one. Final Fantasy XV. When this game dropped, people were pissed uh i do believe it was supposed to come out with a different name i think it was supposed to be called final fantasy x3 or something it was supposed to be called something along the lines of 13 but it obviously wasn't going to be called 13 and it's supposed to be called x3 and there was a big uh part where they were in a city and there was good fighting in there and the character noctis actually had a different he looked he looked different he had a different kind of story vibe to him like he felt different in the original gameplay that was leaked for x3 uh, when 15 dropped, I didn't play it. I just got it about a little over four months ago. And from what I've personally played of the Royal Edition, I really enjoyed it. I thought Final Fantasy 15 was a great game. I love the bromance between everybody. I love the road trip aspect. I love how it's just a story about brotherhood. It's banding together as brothers through the worst of times. I think Final Fantasy 15 goes in the GOAT category oh now we got some we got a nice one right here final fantasy 7 remake this is my personal favorite final fantasy game final fantasy 7 as you guys know was my favorite for the longest time that was my game 
remake passed it up just because it's the same not like the absolute same because they do add some details into that i don't want to spoil anything for anybody because rebirth is coming out i don't want to spoil remake but let's just say it follows pretty much the same story but there are some things they do change which i enjoy personally i like the fact that midgar is expanded to such a large degree that you really get to see everything you get to feel what it's like to be in the slums you get to feel what it's like to be under the rotting pizza you really get that feeling you get to understand the characters on a serious level you get to really connect with those characters especially with what we know happens in the original game with certain characters you really get that sense of being connected to them and i believe final fantasy 7 remake and final fantasy 7 remake integrate deserves to be in the goat category final fantasy 7 remake is a great game final fantasy 7 crisis core reunion is pretty much just crisis core it's just more updated for the times and in my opinion crisis core was an okay game i didn't like the gameplay i thought crisis core was okay for what it was i like the story of zach everything about this game when it comes to the story and the characters i love it is just the gameplay that holds it back for me and i really hate to do this i have to put final fantasy 7 crisis core in the mid category Next up, we have another game that almost passed up Final Fantasy VII. So if you guys didn't know, my Final Fantasy favorite games of all time, Remake, 7, 16, 9, and I'd have to say probably below that, I would put 15. So Final Fantasy 16, when it first came out, I got it. But here's a little story. When I got that game, it originally was supposed to be Diablo 4. Now you guys probably wondering, what do you mean by that? They released the demo. And before that, like literally the day before they released the demo, I had been up to my local GameStop because I like to get the physical games. That's what I am. I like I like a physical game copy. I, I like that's what I like. So I went up there and I was picking up a game, I believe, or I was picking up something. And the guy was like, well, do you want to put a pre-order down? And I was like, sure, I'll put a pre-order down on something. I like, let me get Diablo 4 because I never played any Diablo games. So I was like, you know, let me give that a try. So I go home and there's a little thing going on and I see that Final Fantasy 16 has a demo and I'm like, you know, I've seen some gameplay trailers and this really isn't my thing, but you know, let, I'll give it a shot. Let me play the demo and really just give it a shot, right? I played the demo and I was blown away. The demo is amazing and it should be an industry standard. There should almost always be a demo for a full game. In my opinion, that's, what, that's how it should be. There should be a demo every time a full AAA game is going to be released. This game's demo really sold me on it. So I went the next day after I played the demo and I said, Get, change my pre-order. Give me Final Fantasy 16. Give me the deluxe edition of Final Fantasy 16, please. I need it. I want it. I need it. So I played Final Fantasy 16 and I really enjoyed the story. I thought Clive's character was probably the best written Final Fantasy character we've ever had. I really believe his story is the most well flushed out up until now. Mostly just because we haven't gotten to see Cloud's story really fleshed out besides in the original game and now the remake saga where we're going to have the three games. I think that Clive is the best Final Fantasy character just because Ben Starr's performance as Clive in this game legitimately gave me goosebumps so many times i have never cried at any game like this this game made me ball the only other game that made me cry anywhere near as much was the original final fantasy 7 so for me personally final fantasy 16 has a strong place in my heart and i cannot put it anywhere besides goat status and if i'm being honest it's got to go above Final Fantasy VII just in ghost status, just because of how great Clive is. Next up, we have a mobile game. We have Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. I know some people are like, really, you're going to put a mobile game on here? I have to count it because technically it is a Final Fantasy game. I know I didn't put certain ones on here, but I really could not find anything to do with them, and I really didn't play them. And I don't want to put too many games I didn't play on here because there's only like there's only like three or four in here I never actually touched. So I don't want to put too many on here that I haven't played. And I have played Ever Crisis. And I'm going to be honest, it is a great, great remaster 
technically of the original Final Fantasy VII. It's the exact same story, just with updated models, updated graphics, no voice acting, but updated gameplay, and it still plays really good. You get to see another journey with Sephiroth. You get to play through the entirety of Crisis Core. I honestly think Ever Crisis is a pretty good game. It is held back a little bit because of the fact that it is a mobile game, obviously. So I can only really put it in the mid category if I'm being 100% honest. But Ever Crisis is a great game. You guys should really try it out. It's really fun to play. And now we have the game we don't, we haven't played yet. This is a game that hasn't come out. But it will be coming out within the next couple of weeks. And if you guys have played the demo, I think it's safe to say we all know where this game deserves to be. And I think it's safe to say we all know where it's going to go. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to go in the GOAT status. From what I've played in the Nibelheim flashback, this game is going to be peak. This game is going to be the game of the year in 2024. And Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is in the GOAT category. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys please drop a like and subscribe with them post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. I post videos like this every week, two times a week. Make sure you guys are part of the Polar Fam, you guys. Let's get it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm getting out of here, guys. Peace and love, everybody. Stay frosty. Have a great rest of you guys' night. Peace.